Yo, what it is, man. Welcome back to the Upcoming Show. Today we got a lit video for you, man. We checking out the men's closet, man. Men's closet, Orlando, Florida. My dog Hattie in there, man. We finna go check him out, see what all he got. New brands. Finna get an interview on them on how they started their business too, man. Y'all keep it locked. Let's go. The men's closet has been a staple in Orlando for over 20 years. It has lasted the test of time. Been a fashion hub to the city's most notorious athletes rappers, DJs, and entrepreneurs. Today we have the opportunity to talk with Hattie, owner and operator of the men's closet. If you're ever in the city, stop through and tell them that the Up and Coming show sent you. Now let's get into the interview. Men's Closet was pretty much created, the name is created by my mother and father in the 80s. Um, they came together in the beginning of the store and brainstormed uh, between both of them. Probably my dad came up with the men's, mom came up with the closet, we put it together, we ran with it, and that was in the middle of the 80s. Um, we were first originally founded in 1986. We were founded in the West Side Crossing Plaza, actually right next door to the current location that we're at now, 5510 West Colonial. And um, from there, it just went up. These, these years. For us, what I feel like <clears throat> what keeps us together with the community, keeps us successful, is the love we treat our customers. So we don't look as our, at our customers as customers. We look at them as family. Um, so I think that's the biggest difference between us and other stores. You know, we, we, we don't use, look at people as a number. We don't look at you as another sale. We look at you guys as you know part of our inner community, our circle, our family. So when we use that, it just really made the bigger picture glue for us, you know. The artists from, from that time frame of when y'all first opened to now, you know, you got artists like Woo, you know, Leak Baby, Mook Boy. All family to me. All, you know, all, and, and, they, and they come here and they know that they're going to get what they need. You know, they're going to come and they're going to, you know, spend time here. They, 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 they really, really feel comfortable, like you say, shopping here. Well, it really kind of started like this. Um, we've been in business so long, so before everyone... You know, everyone has a starting point to their career. So before the careers were started, as um, they were been shopping here. You know, when they first came out to in Orlando, when they got out of high school, you know, stores from the '80s. So these dudes, these dudes were you know 17 years old, 16 years old, coming up, and what that created was they were coming here to get right in the beginning of time. So they started here before the blow up. You know what I'm saying? Before they had on really gained that traction. So as they started to gain more momentum, their own following became stronger. Yeah. So now when they shop in here, they tell they little man, it's like, go to, I like, go to men's closet and get right. They're my people. So it's really a word of mouth that, that helped catapult this brand, you know. So it started with one in a, in a domino effect to the whole crew. And that really just came from giving that good love, caring for your customers, um, that genuine, you know, customer appreciation. That's what locked that in for us like that. The number one advice I could give anyone is consistency. Uh, there'll be days you make zero, there'll be ma days you make a thousand. Consistency proves all odds. Um, if you find something you enjoy to do and you love doing it, do it to the full extreme. Don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat the time you put into the things you love. Um, lock into that goal and attack it with everything you got. And I think once you do that to anything you apply yourself to in life, you're going to master that subject that you're working on. Um, from football, basketball, music, retail, fashion, no matter what it is, you put your all into it and you will see something come back from that subject, that topic. So, experience that a customer is going to get when they come into men's clubs? Uh, I think the experience you get, you know, you might come in here, you might be having a bad day, you might argue with your baby mama, your wife, your girlfriend, your mom, whatever it might got you feeling a little <laughs> salty that day. When you come in here and you get that brand new fit and you look yourself in the mirror, you're going to get a motivating and self-empowered feeling. You know, it's the fact that you could 
choose your energy in here. You choose your flavor. You want to be loud today and get some color on you, <laughs> you could do that. Um, so I think what it is, we allow our customers to express themselves, and that's the number one thing. You know, we um, become one with your image, your idea, your dream, what you want to be. We're going to help push you to that look, that image, that style. So it's, um, it's a great feeling to see people come in here and be able to walk out with a new feeling, feeling brand new, new personality, new everything. So it's cool to see. For sure, for sure. And we appreciate all of y'all. Yeah, for sure. Men's for Closet 407, sure. give me a follow. My name is Hattie. I'm in here every day. Let's get it. Right, Love you, Dad. <laughs> we appreciate you for everything. Thank you, man. Thank you.